Tina Hankel, the Assistant Director for STEM and Data Management, actually, for the school system. And I'm, we're honored to be here this evening to talk to you about um, some of the information and, and research that we've received on full-day kindergarten programs. Um, to start, we'd like to um, also just give you a little background. Um, we have a special connection to this topic, primarily because we are parents of school-age children. Um, who are byproducts of a half-day kindergarten program. We have four children, two and two, who, are, um, who have completed um, half-day kindergarten programs, and all four are actually in intervention programs currently because they did not meet their um, grade level expectations, and so they are now in intervention, receiving additional support so that they can catch up. Um, and that includes grades one, two, and three. Endurance are in Shelton and mine are in, in Southbury. So, you know, we have a, we, this, this topic is very near and dear to our hearts. Um, so to start, obviously, when you're in the education field, the first thing you always look at when you go to develop a presentation is to look at research. And so we wanted to kind of see what was out there and what kind of research on a national level has been done regarding full day programs and its impact. And as taxpayers, obviously, the first um, the thing we always think about is um, how does it help us um, save money? And, and the impact actually is from um, a document that was published in 2004 by an economist. And the book is uh, titled Exceptional Returns, and Mark will talk a little bit about it later. But um, primarily the, the research talks about how if you invest in a program that is of high quality, that is rigorous, engaging for students, that in the long run you see an investment return um, of three to one. Um, so in fact, if you invest $870,000 today, you'll see a return of approximately $200 million in the long run. And what does that look like? It looks like um, less services to provide for intervention for students that are behind. It's um, a lower rate of dropouts when they, when they get older, because remember, you know, it's not just about a kindergarten student, it's about the effects long, long term when they get into middle school, high school, and beyond. Um, and it also obviously looks at a lower rate of, of grade retention, students that have to actually stay back to gain more time so that they can meet those grade level expectations. Um, and that's coming actually from a, uh, the, the researcher who is an economist who, who typically they don't really support um, government federally funded programs. Um, so that, that was quite interesting to us. So that on a national level, wanted, we wanted to drill down a little further. So that was the, the big global picture on how it impacts districts. But we wanted to see what does it look like in Shelton. Is the trend out there? Are all districts looking um, at this kind of research and bringing it back into the districts and applying it um, to what's best for, for towns and what's best for kids. So we wanted to look at what the national trends were um, regarding attendance. How many kids are participating in full day kindergarten programs? And you can see over the last 20 years, it, the, the participation rate has doubled from 30 to 60 percent. And in 2005, nine states at that time, which is only a year after that publication, um, was, was published is at a point where nine states are requiring districts to provide full day kindergarten programs. 